Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2020. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manually set keyframes. I'm going to show you the keyboard shortcut on how to set keyframes. And I'm also going to show you how to clear keyframes from the timeline. To manually add keyframes, just drag the playhead to wherever you want the animation to end and click on the stopwatch next to any one of the properties. So I'm just going to click on the stopwatch next to position and you'll see there by that blue dot there that I just added a keyframe. So all you have to do is click on the stopwatch. Now when you move the playhead and you make any change, so I'm just going to drag this here so I go off the canvas here. Now you see it automatically sets a keyframe when you make a change. I press the space bar and now I have an animation. And if you want to remove all the keyframes, all you have to do is press on the stopwatch for that property and it will delete all the keyframes for that layer. The keyboard shortcut to add keyframes to any property, press the option key and then the keyboard shortcut for that property. So if I want a keyframe for position, I'm going to hold the option key and tap on the letter P and that will add a position keyframe. You can see right there. Option S will be for a scale keyframe. Option R, option T for opacity, and option A for anchor point keyframes. And you'll see here that I added keyframes for all of those properties. And to clear or delete all keyframes for a property, just click on the stopwatch next to the property, and that will remove all the keyframes from the timeline. To add keyframes, you just click on the stopwatch. To use the keyboard shortcut, press the option key in the property shortcut. So option P will add a property keyframe. And to clear keyframes, just click on the stopwatch. My name is Mike Murphy. That is your quick tip in After Effects CC 2020. Cheers.